you daily physics problem show here we have a guest uh, with perfect ACT score almost perfect ACT score and perfect GPA right yes. 4 over 4 so far yeah at City College uh, all right so I'll give you a difficult problem would you be able to solve it uh, hopefully I'll yes. give you a building you want to find the height of the building? Okay. I'll put you on the top of the building. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're going to throw down. Throwing down. Something, let's say, with, uh, I don't know, what? Two meters? Two meters per second, sure. Two meters per second. Uh, let's say the ball would be in the air yeah. for how long you want? Let's uh, say five seconds. Five seconds. Ball will be here in the five seconds. Yeah. Five seconds. Find out how tall is the building is, but not here. I want you to do VT graph. Mm -hmm. And area under the VT would be the, the displacement. And take the absolute value of the displacement. That would be the height of the building. Okay. Is that too much? No, it should be easy. All right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go for a coffee. And when I come back, if I see a right answer, <laughs> then good. If I don't see a good answer, then not so good. The VT graph is going to start with an initial velocity of minus 2. Uh, and it's going to keep Love increasing. Yeah, it's going to keep increasing linearly. And the area under this VT graph is, is given by D is equal to V I T plus half A T squared, right? So I know my VI, I know my uh, T, my T is 5 seconds, let me put that right here, 5 seconds. I know my A is G, so all I have to do now is plug in, right, so D is equal to VI times uh, T uh, plus half uh, G uh, T squared, right. Okay, so I have minus 10. Uh, this is minus 5 times 5 squared, so minus 125. So the total distance the ball travels is 135 meters, meaning the building it was dropped from is that many meters high. Let's see if the area under the graph matches, okay? So first of all, the area of this rectangle is what? Well, this is easy. Uh, 2 times 5, right? Obviously, you're not going to do minus 2 times 5. This is the area. So 2 times 5, that's this area, 2 times 5. And what about the area of the triangle? This triangle is half my base times my, uh, times my height. So what is my height here? So let's figure that height out. So my f I, to figure out this height, I need my final velocity, this one right here. But I know what my final velocity is. My final velocity is what I start with times how much I, uh, how fast I go times how long it takes me, right? So my final velocity is going to be 10 times 5 is 50, so minus 52, right? So that's going to be my final velocity right here. Let me, this is minus 52, okay? So what is my height difference here? My height difference is 50. So my height is 50. So let's see if I get the same answer. So I get 10 from here and I get half of 50 is 25. 25 times 5 is 125. And if I add these two up, 10 plus 125 gives me the same uh, answer for my distance. You took the absolute value, right? Uh, if you take absolute value, then uh, it will be 135. Okay. okay. All right. So this is the displacement. You take the absolute value. You get the distance. So distance 135 meter. So building is 135 meter tall. That's right. Any physics problem? So tell us what problem you want us to solve. 